Did you ever go to the Department of Motor Vehicles to get a driver's license, right? This is per, you're asking permission not to use the roads, not to travel, but to engage in a commercial activity. That's not the discussion for today. But if you do, like many Americans go, and particularly in the Washington, D.C. area, is that right, Liam? You're going to get something extra that the you capital, may not bargain for. The capital of, the, Ro- of our great Roman Republic. The seat of, of power, so to speak. The, yeah. the seat of something. I think it's a dirty seat. It's a very dirty seat. You don't want to sit, a- sit anywhere near it. You yeah, know, yeah, when I was up there at D.C., I wanted to get out, even yeah. though I was surrounded by some good people with the Raw Milk Freedom Ride. But still, that area, ugh, the den of vipers, so to speak. Now, what are they offering you? I think they got to change a diaper in that dirty seat uh, of power. Uh, here, here we are in Washington, D.C., we got a lot of poor folk, got a lot of black folk. Mm-hmm. What do they what do they want to do? They want to go to the DMV and not help people drive or not help people get a renewed tag, right? Your yeah, license plate, right? Anything. Uh, you get a get an ID, a state ID, a city mm-hmm. ID. Well, mm-hmm. okay, right? So you don't mail it and you just go down there because it's in your neighborhood and you go down and hey, I'm going to get Oh, what's that? Oh, what, oh, look at that. For tw- uh, 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're giving me a $5 coupon to a grocery store. What is that $5 coupon for? What does that $5 you? coupon Come, get me? Oh, yeah. I get $5 and all you want is 20 minutes of my uh, I, no blood I don't have to give any blood just going to oral swab oh it's for my health and for the health of everybody around me and you're going to get a $5 gift card to a local grocery store if you allow the people at the DMV to swab your DNA to tell et you to tell you what that you're going to die that you have an incurable sex disease and you are a leper you're in your making own that community up, you are making that up they are doing a 20 minute Rapid, non-sanctioned, non-diagnostic, but they'll tell you they're diagnostic, so-called HIV tests at, at the, the DMV. DMV for HIV, basically. <laughs> Dial DMV for HIV right exactly. now. Exactly. This is where it was going. Remember, they had to target the minorities, the poorest among us. Where do they go? Right to the heart, the belly of the beast, Washington, D.C., the DMV, they know the people there, and they're going to say, listen, you come in here, we'll let us swab you, and we'll tell you you're going to die of a dreaded sex disease, which is compatently untrue. You're going to die of the drugs that we're going to somehow give you or you know, pay for by other taxpayers or fun, any other way. And we're going to say you have HIV and or AIDS. But you get this $5 coupon to spend on what at the grocery store? Well, thank you, Mr. I'll go take the $5, and I'm going to die now. Yes, you can get your refined foods, Twinkies, et cetera, six-pack of beer. There's no limit to what you can buy No, they're not going to tell you about selenium glutathione. They're not going to tell you about seaweed and health. They're not going to tell you about the fast food scam that uh, puts these disgusting murder barns of just, just filth, filth that these places serve, the McDonald's of the world serve. In, where in the ghetto neighborhoods, where one ninety nine ninety nine cent meals where people don't have a lot of money, so they get sucked into this because there's a lot of fat and a lot of calories and a couple little bites. Do you wonder why people eat it? Because it's there and it's cheap. Mm. It's not good food. It's not even food. Uh, it, it's calories, but God knows what else. It's Unfortunately, it's poison in a bun very often. By the way, the deal is even sweeter than we mentioned. It's not only the $5 grocery coupon. You get $7 off your DMV services. So whatever you're doing there, getting a license, renewal, whatever, 7 bucks less if you let us swab your mouth. 20 Come minutes. On. For those who test positive, the nonprofit offers a free ride to its nearby office where they can arrange counseling and appointment with a doctor. And get you on those drugs that are so profitable for the pharmaceutical industrial death complex. The, the protesting project is run by... A nonprofit. I'd like to see their books. Where's the nonprofit? Uh, yeah, people are making a fortune in nonprofits. Family and Medical Counseling Services Inc., mm. which uses an office inside the site. If you doubt that this story is is real, no, it is. It's on Boston.com. We've got the links up through the Boston Globe at DC DMV driver's license tag renewal. HIV. Oh, it's test. all over the and news. This is all over the Associated Press. You have to meet. You have to meet people where they are. Explains Sheila Brockington, a graduate of some ridiculous liberal arts college, who over, I'm guessing who oversees HIV testing at the DMV office in Southeast Washington. Uh, the only one of the city's. <laughs> the only one of the city's three DMV service centers where it is offered. Let me guess. Uh, that's probably a poor black community. Mm-hmm. That's where they're targeting the minorities. You're waiting anyway, deprived. she says. You're waiting anyway. You might as you well. You might as well. Come on. Just give us, a, just give us that test. Okay. You, what do HIV tests come up positive for? Robert, go ahead. Name 50 things and I'll tell you which is wrong. Go ahead. 
Uh, poverty, poor people. Poverty comes That's in positive right? poverty. Pregnancy, right? Pregnancy. Uh, if you have had a flu shot. Flu shots. And many of these people any have. Any shots. Any shots whatsoever. If you had a cold, if you have uh, asthma, if you and a lot of these people do. Uh, if you have any kind of nutri- nutritional deficiencies of any kind. Uh, this is an amazing, cows, amazing thing. If you've cows, drink, had any cow milk. Cow milk, right. That's right. Bovine exposure. The, the uh, antigens and other things there. Yes. On and on and on and on and on. That's why we're going to do the big World Age Day special. I, that's why I, we can't go further into this because we've got so much we still have to cover here towards the, you know hitting into the Thanksgiving holiday. And I still want to be grateful about some things because I'm certainly not grateful about this other than the fact that it allows us to cover it and show the dangerous absurdity and perhaps one more person. Hey, you know what? Wake up, black people. Yeah. Uh, you, you think that the that you think that the Jim Crow era is over. You're no. being targeted. Yes. Wake up. Yep. And this is coming from a, a couple of white Jew boys. <laughs> They're saying this. Wake up. You are being targeted. They're going to infiltrate your churches. They're going to infiltrate your schools. They're going to come and say it's it's your responsibility to be tested. You know what your responsibility is? Your responsibility is to say, let me see the package insert for that test. Because I heard a couple of guys on the radio saying it says this test has no standards. And it comes mm-hmm. up positive for X, Y, and Z. I want to read the medical literature on the test. I That's all you have to do. They'll... They'll give you such a da 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 They're yeah. going to shoo you out. You'll understand actually. who you're yeah. dealing with. Yeah. And that's what we want to see. Again, one less person that's victimized in this way, and, and we, it'll make all this time that we spend on the radio worthwhile. And so there, 